input value is a little bit different. So now our function is 3x minus 1. It's not an absolute value. It's a linear function. Um, but now my input value, as you guys can see, is an expression. It's not a number. right? The numbers are fairly easy. Everybody's kind of used to, oh, just plug in whatever that number is in for x. And it makes a lot of sense. But then once we start changing it to expression or anything else, it gets, you know, gets confusing um, for a lot of guys. But the process and everything that we're going to do is exactly the same. All I'm simply going to do is take my function, and I'm going to input in our input value in for x. Even though my input value still has x in it, I'm still going to plug it in. So do you guys see how I replaced x with 2x plus 2, which is my input value? Then I apply distributive property and simplify. So then my final value is going to be 6x plus 5. You don't have, there's nothing else you need to do. 